What's going on everybody? Darth Koopa here. Um, wanted to do a quick video here just kind of walking you through how to place an order for a Saber Trio lightsaber. Um, I've actually had some comments saying, how do I get this? How do I order a one? Um, and I've ordered, you know, a lot, so I know how to do this pretty good. Um, so first thing you want to do is head over to sabertrio.com. So S-A-B-E-R-T-R-I-O.com. And when you first get there, you'll see the homepage here. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is come over here and click on store. You can explore the whole website if you'd like, but to order a Sabre, you click on store. And then you'll see this page here and it's gonna talk about how they had a great turnout for the last opening on September 6th. And the next reopening here is on November 27th, Black Friday. Um, and then you're gonna scroll down and it looks like a little funny right now while I'm editing or while I'm filming this video. Um, it will look a little bit different. They'll be a little bit better organized when they open the store. So first thing you wanna do is scroll down and look at the different sabers. I'm sure you already know which one you want. Um, and you'll want to choose the one that you want specifically. So let's say we want to order the Vectra. We'll click on the Vectra. And of course, you know, we can look at all the different photos of the Vectra to, you know, solidify our decision. You've got all the details here. This will not say out of stock on the 27th. And over here, what you want to start doing is configuring your Sabre. So first thing, we, first thing we do is collect select an option. And then you're gonna have a few different uh, choices here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Cool. So you can either do a stunt saber, which is an entry level configuration meant for casual fun, um, basically just light. Um, you can do a rechargeable stunt, which is the same thing as a stunt, but with a rechargeable battery that adds $35 to the base price. Um, an FX Sabre, which is the mid-tier configuration and the recommended variant for those who are new to the custom Sabre scene. It has all the features needed for a fun and complete Sabre experience. So this is gonna be an in-hill LED, um, not a NeoPixel, and it's probably gonna be, it's definitely gonna be um, not the smooth swing variant. So if you're like me and you want the top of the line, what you're gonna wanna click on is Neo Saber. Neo Saber is the ultimate configuration which features all of the latest Saber technologies currently available to deliver the most realistic Saber experience. This configuration is also highly customizable. So this is gonna get you smooth swing. Um, this is gonna get you the Neo Pixel blade with the scrolling effect. So this is the best option you can get. So we're gonna click on that. Um, and if you want one of the other versions, just click on that version. Um, you can see it selected Neo Saber there. Now what we're gonna do is scroll down and click Saber, Hilt, and Color and Finish. Select an option. So here you can choose, you know, all the different finishes that you might want, whether that be the brushed silver black, which is just, you know, the standard finish, a mirrored silver uh, black, which is the shiny version, a dark edition where it's just all black anodized, matte black anodized, or weathered, which is the matte black anodized, and then they, um, the edges and the surface of the saber are meticulously hand sanded to create a textured appearance of age and wear, kind of like my Aaron here. So this was all black, and then they went ahead and meticulously weathered all of these little grooves and, and markings on it. So I really like their weathering <clears throat> job. So let's say I wanna go with weathered. I'll click on weathered. Next, we're gonna choose um, our Neo Blade grade. So you have mid grade and you have heavy grade. Mid-grade is gonna be for, you know, a lighter blade that's suitable for medium contact dueling. It's really more for if you just wanna show the saber off. Heavy-grade NeoPixel blade or regular is gonna be for full contact dueling. So you can really swing this thing 
um, at another saber or whatever and not have to worry about it breaking or damaging the blade or the saber. Um, so we select an option here. And then you have all these different lengths. So 36 is the longest, 32 is medium-ish, 30, 30 inches, a little shorter, 24. Um, my sweet spot personally is 32. I did just get a 36 inch and I like 36 as well. So if you're tall, like I'm six foot two, 36 is probably the best bet. If you're the type that really wants to swing the saber around and be super versatile with your swinging, 32 is probably a better bet. Um, and personally, I prefer heavy grade because I like the ability to, one, it weighs a little bit more, so it feels a little bit better um, to me personally. And then um, it's nice to be able to swing it against stuff and not worry about the thing cracking. So what I would do myself is a 32 inch heavy grade NeoPixel blade. Uh, if you already have NeoPixel blades at home that are one inch, you don't really need to order another one. You're actually gonna get your order faster if you don't. Um, but if you don't have one, then you're gonna wanna order one. So let's click on a 32 inch heavy grade NeoPixel blade. Cool. So that's in there. Activation switch. So this custom saber is operated using a large 16 millimeter um, anti-vandal momentary switch. Choose your preferred switch color. So switch color and the switch is what you ignite the saber with. So it's this thing right here. So you got your choices between silver, black, gold, and red. So take a look at the exterior of the saber and you decide what your own personal preference is. Um, like for this one, I have a dark weathered Aaron with a gold button. I thought it looked cool because it matched with the brass here. Um, if I was getting a matte weathered Vectra, I would probably do a black button for that sleek finish. Black activation switch, so you can also have it be an illuminated switch or not. Um, some people really like the illuminated switches where there's actually a light in the switch. Um, it's only two bucks more, so it's really not that big of a deal if you do like it. Uh, myself, personally, I don't really care for the illuminated switch. Everybody is different. So I would go no switch, no illuminated switch. Covertech wheel. So if you wanted to walk around with your saber at Target, like me, um, <laughs> you want to have a Covertech wheel on here so that you can put it on a belt clip. Um, I'll show you that in a second. So you can choose the Covertech wheel and the color of it. So for this situation, I'm gonna go black weathered just to match the hilt that I've chosen. Blade plug and Neo chip. So when you don't have a NeoPixel blade in your saber, there's gonna be a hole right here, right? Um, this is the NeoPixel blade plug right here. Uh, it's a really neat thing to- Sound bank selection. <laughs> It's a really neat thing to have when you don't have a blade in your saber. So this, you can ignite your saber. Let's say you're walking around Target. If somebody wants to you know, mess with you, you can illuminate your saber and then you've got um, the light up there. And then without that, you're not gonna be able to have anything lighting up should you not have a blade in. So I'll take this out for a second. Without the blade plug and without a blade, it's just going to be a hole, and then you can't. Primary crystal missing. You can't light it up, and she's going to tell you that you don't have a crystal in there. So, it's a pretty neat thing to have just on the side, a blade plug. Um, so you can get it or not, um, and you have different styles here. So you can choose whichever style you prefer. I think for this particular design, I'll do the dark edition uh, neo chip, and then the Covertech clip. So that Covertech wheel that we talked about before needs a Covertech clip if you wanted to walk around Target with your lightsaber. So this goes on your uh, pants or your belt or whatever. And then you have the Covertech wheel and the Covertech clip. And then this slides, come on, right in there like that. And then you can put this on your belt, walk around Target, nobody's going to mess with you. So um, if you don't have one of these right now, I would recommend getting one. I already have one, so whenever I order another saber, I'm not gonna order another one. Um, you can see the total that I've got here. 
578 for the way I've configured this NeoPixel weathered Vectra. So not exactly um, cheap, but again, this is not a cheap lightsaber. This is top of the line. This is the best of the best in the market. Um, couldn't recommend it any higher. And so um, then you'll hit checkout and then it'll take you to a page where you can put in your payment information and place your order. But before you do that, guys, at the very end there, before you place your order, there's gonna be a section where you can put in a coupon code. You're gonna to wanna to put in the coupon code s 3 darth Koopa, just like how it's spelled on my channel. And um, Saber Trio will include two of these Darth Koopa stickers with your order. Um, it's a easy way to support the channel. If I have in any way, uh, you know, motivated you or inspired you to buy a Saber Trio, um, really cool way to support the channel by getting your own Darth Koopa stickers just by putting in the coupon code S3 Darth Koopa at checkout. So uh, Sabre Trio comes back online for new orders on November 27th, 2020 um, at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, yeah, if you haven't already bought yourself a Sabre Trio lightsaber, it is a well worth investment. If you're into lightsabers, there really aren't too many better options for the price. Um, other lightsaber companies that are doing similar quality are substantially higher price. So um, that's it for the video. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Um, give the video a thumbs up if this was helpful. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, yeah, may the force be with you guys. Really appreciate you following along, tuning in. Don't forget to get yourself